Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our online class where today we are going to be making some really pretty fun Z fold cards with some Noble Peacock foil and uh, Noble Peacock specialty paper from Stampin' Up. They're actually really easy to make and they're great fun holiday cards when you want to wow but you don't have a lot of time and you don't you don't you want to be able to you don't have to go into something very very involved to really get somebody's attention with your cards because they're going to be absolutely beautiful. So welcome aboard to all of you who are joining me live. We are taping this live on Facebook and, and the replay will be on YouTube as well as Pinterest. And this is also my blog hop project. This is a blog hop week, which is why we're on Saturday morning instead of Friday. And in addition to my projects, my Stamp It Demonstrator group, a few of them have been crafting their little hearts out with Christmas and holiday projects to share with you guys. And they are amazing. These, If you've taken our blog hops before, you know this. They are so talented and it is so wonderful to be able to share all of these great ideas with you guys. So after this video, you're going to want to pop over to my blog either by going to stampwithtammy.com or clicking on the resource page on this video's link, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. And that will bring you directly to the resource page and the hop will be there as well as you will be able to enter our giveaway. I have two different types of giveaways today because it's blog hop day. The first one is for those of you who are joining us live. If you leave a comment, you will be entered to win a holiday haul stamp set. And the second one is a blog hop comment entry. So you will want to click on over to the blog hop page, the resource page of this video class and leave a comment on my blog on this page with the hashtag Stamp It Contest. And you will be able to enter once on each blog in the post. So you'll have, be able to enter multiple times and we are giving away the Notes of Kindness card kit today. And actually you'll be able to enter all the way up until December 28th. So if you're watching the replay later on down the line, you still have chance to uh, participate in that. And these are the two holiday haul stamp sets that I'll be giving away live. They are hostess sets in the holiday catalog. Uh, and they're so you you can't earn you can't buy them, you can only earn them with stampin' rewards, which makes them very hard to get. So they're very rare, and I know a lot of you have had your heart set on these, so maybe you will get lucky. Here are the cards that we're going to be making today. It's a card set. It's actually really easy to make and so fun. I created these with the Stampin' Up Noble Peacock foil. Papers. There are two different paper packs here. One is foil and the other one is specialty designer paper. They're both in the same colors and they are Tranquil Tide, Blueberry Bushel, and Old Olive. And so we have one, one pack is the plain foil and the other pack is the patterned foil designer series specialty paper. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to use uh, one... Uh, pieces from each of these there's um in fact i'll show you what these are the two different packs here and a little bit about them you can purchase them and all of the supplies that i'm using today in my online store and you can uh, get the quick link simply by clicking on the link in this video's description and going to the resource page in addition to that you can download the free pdf that accompanies today's online class sorry my 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 friend just having issues so it doesn't look awesome but Yours will look a lot better when you download it. It has all of the measurements and scoring information for the projects that we're going to be making today, as well as a full supply list here and even a place to make notes. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is make our card base. So these are Z-fold cards, so they're a little different card. And when they're closed, you don't see the inside here, but when they're opened, you can see your little greeting or if you're doing holiday cards, you could put a, a photo in here. So you could make it a photo card. Or you could put a photo on the top instead of um, putting the embellishments and words on there. So you could do a couple different things with these. And you can tell, I've, I've made them holiday cards, but you can tell by looking at them that you could also use this design for other occasions. They don't have to be holiday cards. Which one is your favorite? I think this one's mine, but I don't know. I keep wavering back and forth. This one is the uh, Tranquil Tide. And this one is blueberry bushel. I'll start with this one. And then we have old olive. Super fun. All right, let's get started with a good time. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create this fold. And it's really simple. So I took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I cut it in half the long way. 
So our card base is going to be 11 inches by four and a quarter. Again, all of these measurements are on that free PDF, so you don't need to, to write. You can actually just watch. And if you uh, are watching this later, following along, if you download that pre free PDF, um, that will help you with your measurements get started. So I'm taking a paper trimmer, and I'm going to put this through to five and a half. And I'm going to use the scoring blade here. So there's two blades. One cuts. The dark one cuts. The light one scores. And I'm just going to put one score line, and that's halfway through at the five and a half inch mark, and then another one at two and three quarters. And then when we fold those, that makes our Z fold. Ta-da! <laughs> it's a lot easier than you thought, right? So next, we're going to do a little heat embossing. And I'm going to use some, this is the uh, blueberry bushel copper, I'm sorry, blueberry bushel, we are using copper as well. Blueberry bushel um, foil sheets that match. This is a blueberry bushel card base and blueberry bushel uh, designer paper. So everything matches. Plus, we're using my favorite copper. All right, so the first thing I want to do when I'm heat embossing is take the embossed buddy to keep down the static. So I'm just going to rub that. And you really only need to rub it over the lower uh, right-hand corner because that's where we're actually going to be doing the embossing. But if you rub it over the whole thing, it's, it's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. And then I am taking words from the stamp set called A Wish for Everything. It's a two-box set. We actually used this on the penguins that I made last week, the penguin set. And it's got all the holidays in it. So that makes it a great and versatile set. You've got insides for your cards and outsides. But what I really like in addition to that is that it pairs wonderfully with this Merry Christmas Thinlets dies. And so these dies say Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas. But you could use the Happy with Valentine's Day, Father's Day. You can coordinate these to go for other occasions. So I liked pairing these two together. And I will be using the die on the old olive card. And then what I did, and I took the words out of the set, happy and um, holidays, which is right here, these two. I took these two, I placed them on an acrylic block together, right next to each other. Can you see that? Right on, actually, right on top of each other, so that I only have to stamp once. So I don't have to worry about lining it up again. I'm going to, this is our Versamark watermarking ink pad. I'm going to stamp that in the lower right hand corner. I'm using that because we're heat embossing. It stays tacky a little bit longer. And then I'm taking some copper embossed powder because we are using copper today. This is a, a copper filled day, which makes my heart happy because copper is one of my faves. And everything went so well with it. Everything paired well with copper in this class. So I'm just taking some scrap paper here. I don't have anything fancy for my embossing today. I'm pouring the embossed powder right over the top. Just flick it back into that powder. Okay, I want to point this out. I don't know if you can see it, but can you see there's a little bit of powder on the edge here? And that's why you want that embossed, buddy. So that, and especially with foil, because foil tends to get staticky, um, that if you do a good job with the embossed, buddy, that doesn't happen. Unfortunately, I didn't do a good job, so I'm able to show you why you want to use it. <laughs> I guess that helps too, right? You want to know why it's important. So then I'm just going to pour the excess right back into the jar and we're going to move on and do the heat embossing. I'm also going to move in my uh, silicone mat down here just to keep the heat from making any marks on the table. So what, not, what I've got here is our uh, heat tool. If you can see that okay. We're going to heat up the Happy holidays. And when it starts to melt, it's just a wow. Just awesome. Oops, got a little bit on the edge there we want to hit. The S. There we go. Beautiful. So it puffs it up. It makes it really fun and bright. It jumps right off of that foil, that blueberry bushel foil. I know, doesn't it look, Kelly says it looks so gorgeous together. It really does. So the when you use that embossed buddy on the foil, it does leave a little bit of a film. Don't rub it off until you're already done with your embossing, but then you can just wipe that off. And then we're going to go ahead and start our assembly on that card. 
So I'm going to just use some snail adhesive here and attach this panel to a copper foil panel. Again, measurements on that free PDF. <laughs> That's funny, Mackenzie. I did not plan that, but the nails kind of do match the cards. What's ironic about it is the nail polish changes color, and in certain lights it's green. So in one light it's blueberry bushel, in another light, and I don't know if I can get that lighting under these lights, but in one, they're almost old olive in one, in one light. <laughs> Totally didn't plan that. Happy coincidence. All right, so I've already pre um, pre cut and pre attached um, some of these panels together already, just to save us a little bit of time, because I want to show you a couple of tips and tricks with the other cards. So we're just gonna layer the designer series paper or the the foil on top of the copper. Copper is gonna give us a little bit of a um, a frame underneath. What I also found is, and, and I'm a snail addict, I love, that's my uh, adhesive of choice, but I found that the copper paper, there's something backing on the back of it that the snail does not like to stick to, so I always find it's easier to attach the um, snail to the base first. It sticks to it, it just, for some reason, when you're rolling it, it doesn't come out. And so I pre-cut these two pieces too. Again, these are all, all of this information is on that free PDF for you. And then put a panel inside and a panel outside. Oops, see, that's what I meant by, I don't know if you just saw that. It only gave me a tiny little pull. So if I put it on here and then stick it, it works much better. And when those are on, that gives us our fold. Oh, thanks, Terry. She says she always loves starting out Saturday morning with the classes. That's awesome. Thank you. So next up, we're going to take uh, the piece that we embossed. This is going to become our center piece here. And because I, because it doesn't always, oh, well, actually, this did pull out okay on the, uh, on the copper. Usually I would just put a little bit right here on the pattern paper if it didn't. And for those of you that prefer uh, the liquid glue, that is actually probably even an okay, even if not a better substitute. It's just not my preferred adhesive. Now this panel, it's very vanilla layered over copper measurements on the um, free PDF. And what I did to layer, to line that up, actually, if you just place it in the middle, it should line up because we already, we already placed that down there, but I just want to double check with this, make sure that it's, since we placed this in the middle, if we place this in the middle on the inside, it should be hidden when the card is closed. But I just want to double check before I press it down. And then this, this is the, this is the, like the creme de la creme on the cards. So on all of the cards, I used these. These are the brightly gleaming elements and they're, see how copper they are. This is what's beautiful about this. So I used, there's um, like, half a sheet they're the same the top half and the bottom half of the sheet so for this set I used the full all of these five pieces on on the three cards right so three cards five pieces and there's five sheets in here so if you were making these and doing um, the variety of colors here for yours you, there's five sheets you can get three six out of a sheet you get 30 cards out of one pack of this brightly gleaming designer series paper So on this one, we're going to take this large star and a small star. I thought I had the small star punched out, but it doesn't look like I do. So we'll just go ahead and punch that out. Actually, no, we'll just go ahead and use this one. Thank you, Tina. I do love the colors. She says the colors on these cards are gorgeous. They really are. They really are so pretty. So I'm going to take snail adhesive. Again, if you were using liquid glue, you could probably get it in here and you won't get what I call panty lines. And those are the adhesive, little adhesive strings that show through these tiny little pieces. But it's just, I just would rather use snail. <laughs> so if you are like me and would rather use snail, just take your paper piercer at the end of your, take your pick tool or any paper piercer. Just poke out any adhesive that shows through. And pop it down. And we got our large star. I laid that down over 
over both panels there so we've got that large star oh thanks Christine so this is our first card our first Z fold and the base of this how we did the fold and attach the pieces is the same on all the cards the only thing that's different on all three cards is how I decorated the front so the next card we're gonna decorate is the old olive card and that's this one in the set and we are going to, since I've, I've, I've already, I've already pre-done our base here. So we've got our card base already done. I've, I've put the panels on and the inside on. So this one, it's just decorating the outside panel on this one. So I preheat embossed the Merry Christmas, like just like we did on the first card. Since we did that on the first card, I figured we were okay I'm not doing it on this one. And then I'm going to take these two. These are from those brightly gleaming elements. They are um, just like sprigs. Put some snail on the back of that. Just a touch or some mini glue dots if you prefer. And I had that coming kind of up on the side like that. And then a little bit of adhesive. Just on, now I, I'm not sure if I pointed this out on the first card, but you only want adhesive on the left hand side because you don't want it. To stick to your card so the adhesive should only only be on the part that sticks to this side there we go and then I'm going to take another piece of the brightly gleaming elements and I'm going to hide it underneath this interior piece the little piece that we're going to write on or put a photo card on so I'll put a little snail on on that one and since I've kind of pre-attached that one I'm just going to lift it up a little bit to get that underneath and also so that it matches so we've got a little sprig coming up on either side when you open makes it pretty and then I took that I used the Christmas from a wish for everything stamp set and I took the Mary out of the Merry Christmas thinlet dies and I um, I used that in copper I die cut that in copper so we have our Mary our pretty Mary out of copper and we're gonna just attach that onto the front here again using either, either liquid glue or snail adhesive I still had a couple of pieces in there from the die I love this font the, the Merry Christmas Thinlets. It's just the, the script writing is so pretty. And then I'm going to put that down on the front at a little bit of an angle. Well, we got lots of, lots of votes for the old olives. So we started with blueberry. We're working on Old Olive now. That's that's complete. I'm loving to hear your favorites on this one. And the last card is our Pretty Peacock card. Again, I pre-did the base just like we did with the first card in the beginning. And I already pre-attached the Pretty Peacock foil to the copper. So we've got Pretty Peacock designer paper. We've got our little section inside. All of the measurements are on the free PDF for you. Now on this one, we're gonna make a little package out of it. So we're gonna make this ornament using uh, the Brightly Gleamings ornament out of that set. And we're gonna use some of this really pretty, it's, um, I believe it's, is it cotton ribbon? It's cotton and copper. As soon as it said copper, oh, it's classic weave ribbon, it's called, and, and copper. And it actually says Merry Christmas right on it. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm dying to use this ribbon. So I'm really excited to have a gorgeous project to use it on. So we're going to take those brightly gleaming elements and we're going to take that ornament and punch it right out. So it's a pretty good value, right? If you were making this full set just like this, you could get 30 cards out of this one pack of brightly gleaming elements. So we've got the ornament and then I'm going to take a piece of scrap pretty peacock foil. and the one inch circle punch to punch that out. 
And then we're going to attach the ornament to that one inch circle punch. So it's gonna be a matching ornament. Have your adhesive of choice. But if you're, oops, I don't have, I don't have that twisted in on the take your pick tool, which is kind of, you know, something you wanna do when you're using the tools. They twist in and out because you can interchange them. I'm just doing this kind of quickly. If you have the fine tip glue pen or liquid glue and you're friends with it, that would be a really good choice here. So we have our ornament. Thanks for the heart, you guys. Daphne says this one's her favorite. It is up there for me too. I think, I don't know, I keep thinking this one's my favorite and then I keep doing the other ones and I'm like, oh, I love these too. So you wanna cut two sections off that are going to fit your, um, your front piece here, but you wanna make sure that the Merry Christmas stands out, but a little bit to the side here because we're gonna kinda of tie a, a knot there. So I have to trim it right in the middle of the Merry Christmas, but we're going to. It doesn't matter so much going up and down. It, it doesn't matter if the Merry Christmas shows, but we definitely want it to show when it's going the landscape one. And then I'm just gonna tie this in a knot So basically what I'm doing is I have one straight piece here and I'm tying the longer piece that's not lined up or the Merry Christmas isn't lined up on the left hand side in a knot. And I can slide that back and forth if I need to. So I'm gonna pull that as close as I can get it because we're making a package now. So it's like we're tying a ribbon onto a package, but I want that ribbon to say Merry Christmas. So we are going to take some adhesive, put it on the back of that top panel. Actually, it, you could put it on the top, back of all of it, actually, because we're going to attach it all, but just want to make sure I have them lined up right. Okay. There we go. Lost track of it for a minute there. Okay, that's the front, right? No, this one's the front. Oh goodness, I already lost track of which one was the front. I think it's this one. Somehow, I just knew I was going to end up doing that. <laughs> Somehow, when you go live, it never fails, right? I suppose you could, have, could have just tied that in a knot after, and then you don't have to worry about messing up which one goes where. One more reason you watch my videos, right? So you learn what not to do when you're making yours to make it easier. Okay, so I'm just pulling that over so the Mary shows. I just need a little bit more adhesive on this last section. And that's gonna go on the back. Now, I did want this piece to be long enough so that when I attach this to the card base in the back, you see the Merry Christmas, I was okay with that but you don't see like the end of it. So it wraps around. So it's still like wrapping around the present. I did kind of intentionally do that. And on this one, because I have ribbon on the back, instead of using snail on the back of it, I actually use dimensionals. And that's up to you, but um, you could use dimensionals on all of them if you wanted to. I like the other two flat, but this particular one, because there's ribbon there, I wanted it to pop up. So again, you only want them on the left-hand side because they don't want the side to attach or your card will stick, be stuck closed. Oh, blueberry bush has got a lot of votes for favorite too. I think they're all even. <laughs> the colors are all even out there, but they all have a lot of love. You can't go wrong with this foil. It's just so gorgeous. And in my opinion, you can't go wrong with copper because I love it. You guys know that, right? <laughs> I, I, you know, cause I use it on everything cause I love it so much. So this just attaches in the center and then I am going to attach this ornament. Look at, I have one dimensional left in the middle of the pack and we're just going to attach that little ornament with it. That's perfect timing, right? And that's just going to go down here. And then our card is complete. And that completes our set of cards. See, told you they were easy, right? 20 minutes, we got a, <laughs> we have a full set of three Z Fold cards. And again, they don't have to be holiday cards. They could be good for anything. 
And for those of you who are tuning in late, this is my blog hop uh, project, which means that if you pop on over to my stampwithtammy.com blog by clicking on the link in this video's description, you can take the blog hop, see all of the amazing projects that my team have in store for you today and have created for you today. And you can also enter to win our Notes of Kindness card kit contest for our blog hop. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you all for joining me today.